Hello and welcome to this Squid Game Dalgona challenge uh, where I am your early contestant and uh, yeah we're gonna have a go at um, the popular uh, Squid Game game that um, was in episode 3 I think. I think it was the second game or the third game. Um, basically you have this little bit of Dalgona. Um, I'll just be careful because it is quite fragile. You kind of just have that and um, yeah it is um, basically a little bit of honeycomb pretty much and you just have to um, use your needle or your wits um, like our main character Guy um, that's already got in my finger great but yeah you just have a, a little needle this is probably slightly smaller than what they actually had but yeah we'll see how long this takes me I've got a circle for now I didn't have any other shapes I do actually have a gingerbread shape which will give <laughs> will give a go at, uh, at doing a gingerbread man shape like this yeah but for now we'll try the circle I haven't had a go at this yet and these are actually really easy to make surprisingly so um, I have a video on how I actually made these up already so maybe go check that out before um, you'll finish watching this or finish watching this go check that out and then maybe uh, have a go yourselves yeah they're pretty easy to make uh, take you to make one takes you about five minutes something like that maybe a little bit less but uh, yeah let's get into it if you are new and you do like this sort of weird stuff wacky stuff um, then maybe do consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell to be notified when new videos like this come out but um, that's enough I don't really have a timer um, but we'll, we'll, we'll put one up on screen and see how long it takes me um, so yeah, let us let us go. Will I die instantly? That is the question. Also, let me know what shape you guys actually chose when you were watching the episode. I went with the umbrella because of course I did, so I was definitely gonna gonna die. But I feel like if you went for the the square of the triangle, you were you were pretty good. Um, was there a square or a triangle? No, there's a triangle. Oh no, there's a triangle, square. No, there was a triangle, star. Umbrella and circle. Those were the four shapes, I think. Yeah, those are the four. So yeah, if you chose the um, the triangle, I think you were doing pretty well for yourself. That seems like it'd be the easiest one. Then I'd say maybe the circle, the star, probably the third hardest, and then I think the umbrella is probably going to be the hardest, just because it had little points that were just of the umbrella at the bottom that just seemed impossible to get out. But we'll try with this circle, and uh, yeah, let's get let's get on with it. So, we will just see what poking it's like. That does absolutely nothing. Okay, I guess we'll... Oh, this is going to take ages. We'll just try scratch it, just, just like they did. And wow, this, this does seem like it would take quite a while. The thing is, I don't even know how far I should... Oh, <laughs> that was that is lucky. That is really lucky. It it kind of just shattered on its own on that bit there. So we we have got we have got one little piece out. Um, so yeah, let's actually just it's like a it's just like a normal honeycomb really. Interestingly enough, I did actually use baking powder and not baking soda, and um, it still came out fine. So. If you have either, use either, it doesn't really seem to matter in this, but I think I'm going to hold it in the middle and then we'll go around. <laughs> Another little shot just kind of shot off there. Oh, actually I can stab this one here. It didn't seem like it would be stabbable before. The thing is, my life isn't on the line on this one, well at least I don't think it is, so um, uh, you know, I'm probably not, I don't have the nerves that they probably did being in that situation, but it looks like that another little bit is shattered off. Yes, it has. We've got another little bit that's come off. Excellent. Okay, so we're almost halfway, which is good. Okay, I think we're actually going to do this quite quickly. Stabs at it. Okay, let us see if we can. Okay, we have done it. We've done that bit as well. There we go. That's a nice little bit. So if we, okay, we just got this little bit left. Hopefully, we can get it without succumbing and dying. Because this is the part where you get overly confident, and it all goes down. Oh, that was lucky. A little bit came off there. 
Okay, let me try. Oh, well, that was lucky as well. Another little bit came off there. Interestingly, I will say, uh, I did make about four of these and two of them, as they were cooling, they did kind of just sh shatter on their own a little bit. So, um, yeah, just look out for that. Um, oh, <laughs> that little bit's come out and we've got literally the tiniest bit left. The smallest little bit. Okay, that's it, get off. Yes, I've done it, I've done it. Amazing, okay, let us see if I can actually, oh god, I've lost my needle. Let's flick that up and hopefully, I mean, that should already, I would have passed, right? Even if I flick this up and it, <gasps> I mean, have I, would I have died? This little bit here has come off. Just, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm fine, right? Right? <laughs> so yeah, I have actually kind of broken it, which is a bit disappointing. It's just a very, very small bit of it, just, just a super small little edge of it, just there. Um, like, yeah, that is hardly anything. But I don't know if I would have passed or not there because um, I did kind of get the shape out. It was just when I tried to flick it up to get it out, I sort of broke it. But then again, the contestants did actually show it to them, didn't they? So maybe I would have ended up dead. That was that one. For our next one, this is actually one of the ones that did shatter a little bit, and you can see it actually did shatter in between the legs of the uh, gingerbread man. And I chose this just because, well, it's one shape that I had, and second, it seems like it'd be quite hard. Um, so, I think with this one we'll try Gee's method of just licking it from the back. <laughs> yeah, boy. And see how long that takes. But, yeah, let me know if you think I passed with this one. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll see if we can do this one. But yeah, let's, we don't have any licks this is even gonna take. Is it even gonna work? That's the thing. Right, three licks in. Very nice. Um, you didn't seem to have done much, so. I can't see. I don't actually think that's doing anything. Maybe very slightly. He is actually doing a little bit, but oh yeah, I can actually see more light coming through it. I don't know if you can actually see that or not, but there is definitely more. More, I can definitely see the outline of the gingerbread man a lot more. I don't think you'll be able to see it here, um, but yeah, let's let's keep going then. This feels like a weird thing to be doing on the internet. To be fair. God, you actually get like a little bit of tongue fatigue. Um, but actually, it is working. That is very close. Well, to my eyes anyway. I'm not sure if you can actually be able to pick that up. But to my eyes, I can actually, there's actually quite a bit of light coming through that now. So we'll give it a few more and then we'll see if we can just pop it out. Also, if you have finished the whole series, do let me know what you thought of it. Um, I really enjoyed it. I mean, won't spoil it, but the the last episode in particular where we find out, you know, that thing there, then that that was, I was like, what? I was like, pretty much just like I was broken. I was broke. Just talking about, I can't even speak about it. I was that broken, and I'm sorry if this looks, <laughs> if this if this just looks horrendous, but we're actually very close. <laughs> yeah, boy. No! Oh no! I was literally, that was pretty much the last lick and then... <laughs> and then I was, I was gonna, I was gonna pop it out, I, I swear! That was gonna be the last lick as well! Hey guys, it's Anthony the editor here. So as you can see, after being brutally murdered for failing his challenge, Tom is now here sitting down, eating the rest of them. Can someone tell me how is he still alive if if he was just shot? He tastes just like the inside of a crunchy bar actually. You could put this in a in a latte 
that would be awesome or a trip or a coffee that would be really good i'm probably gonna have to stop soon but yeah that's gonna be all from me so goodbye and ciao ciao